Find the point of discontinuity and determine the type of discontinuity, whether it is removable, jump, or neither. Okay, let's look at the first question, f of x equal to absolute value of x plus 2 over x plus 2. Uh, in order to figure out the discontinuity, especially if you want to know if it's removable or jump or neither, you need to draw the graph. So let's try to draw the graph. Uh, so you can casually start out by plugging in some numbers to see what it does. If, it, if x is 1, you have 3 over 3, so y value becomes 1. If x is 2, y is 2 plus 2 is 4, so it's 4 over 4, which is 1. Now, after doing a couple of things, a couple of numbers, then you realize that the top, when x plus 2 is positive, then absolute value doesn't do anything, and therefore top and bottom just cancels each other, and you're going to get 1. However, if x is negative, say negative 3, uh, then the moment when this becomes negative, the absolute value does do something, right? So let's see what happens if x is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1 over negative 1, so it's positive 1 over negative 1, which is negative 1. Okay, what about x equals to negative 4? In that case, negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2, absolute value over negative 2, and because the absolute value of negative 2 is positive 2, you get negative 1. So in this case, when x plus, plus 2 is negative, then you, you, you see that the y value becomes negative 1. When does x plus 2 become positive? Well, if x is negative 1, it's still positive. Any number bigger than negative 2 will make x plus 2 bigger than 0. So uh, here is negative 2. After negative 2, the y value will be 1 because of the reasons that we, uh, we saw just now. And before negative 2, the value of y will be negative 1. What about x equals to negative 2 exactly? Well, in that case, the denominator becomes 0, so you don't have the value of the function. So in other words, f of negative 2 is undefined. Since the function is undefined, uh, this is the point of discontinuity. So uh, discontinuous at discontinuous at x equals to negative 2. Okay, what kind of discontinuity is this? This is a jump discontinuity. Right? Okay, now let's try to do the second one. This one, um, you should try to simplify before you want to draw the graph because x squared minus 9 is a, a difference of two squares, so you can factor it as x plus 3 and x minus 3, and since x minus 3 and x minus 3 are the same, this becomes 1 over x plus 3. Now, is x minus 3 over x squared min minus 9 the same function as 1 over x plus 3? It's almost, there. there is a difference, however. The domain of this is all reals excluding both 3 and negative 3, because th both of values th make the denominator equal to 0. However, this one, uh, you only have negative 3 as uh, the non-allowed value for the domain. So the domain is all real values except negative 3. Uh, and, and we also know the graph of this. It's really y equals to 1 over x. The y equals 1 over x is like this, and then uh, it, because of this plus 3, it's moving 3 to the left side, so uh, you actually have a vertical asymptote at negative 3, and the graph becomes like that. Okay. Now, remember, the domain for the original function excludes 3, so is this the graph of g of x? Not, not right, not true, uh, because this the graph that we have is 1 over x plus 3, and the difference between these two is that there's a hole at 3. So at 3, you should draw a hole and continue on. Okay, so that's the graph of g of x. That means there are two discontinuous points, so x equals to negative 3 and x equals 3 are point of discontinuity. However, this one is 
R pod, it's a, a removable to point of discontinuity, whereas this is just uh, neither. Okay, so it's just discontinuous. You can't say whether it's a, a removable point of discontinuity nor a jump discontinuity. It just goes to down to negative infinity and it goes to positive infinity. In that case, if any of the the one side goes to infinity or negative infinity, you say it's just the this discontinuous point. It's not neither uh, jump discontinuity nor uh, R pod. Okay, here's another another example. H of x. This time you have a piecewise function. Let's see. On the left side, when x is less than zero, you have y equals to x squared. X squared is a parabola, but that's moved up by two. So you you have this parabola like this at two. But then because we are only taking the portion where x is less than zero, we should erase this part. And then that's what we have. And then what about at x equal to zero? At x equal to zero, the value is one. That reminds me that I should really put an open circle here because this is strictly less than zero. So it doesn't contain this point. So that, that value here, this closed circle is one. And then y equal to x is uh, this graph, right? It's a 45 degree angle line. And you get this. Okay. So at x equals to 0, there is a discontinuity. You might say this is a jump discontinuity, but technically, uh, you call a jump discontinuity when it's either this or this or both are undefined. So if, if your value of the function is in between the open circles, you don't call this a jump discontinuity. So it's just a dis discontinuity. It's, not, it's neither removable nor a jump.